As we went through the morning hours, had a pretty hefty line of showers and storms pushed through, and that produced some wind damage across the area. Let's show you the reports from this morning and uh, what those storms did. You can see the storm reports in a couple counties across our region, mainly in northeast Tennessee. Rogersville area had some reports of trees down, had some reports as well as we went into Greene County, also into Jonesboro of some wind damage. Uh, in the Sulphur Springs area, some wind damage there, some trees down across a roadway, and a few power outages resulted of this as well. I heard some reports of power outage in the Kingsport area due to trees down. Thankfully, weather tonight a lot calmer, partly cloudy skies. Going to be breezy through the overnight, though. Temperatures will be in the middle to upper 40s as we go through the overnight hours. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, highs in the upper 60s and near 70 degrees. Mostly sunny skies expected across the area. Breezy once again, though. A little cooler in the North Carolina high country. As we talk about southwest Virginia, you'll notice temperatures will be generally in the low to mid 60s for much of the area. Uh, but a few upper 60s not out of the question towards Rogersville, or excuse me, towards Jonesville, and also into Gate City and uh, towards the Abingdon area. Let's talk about what's going to happen through the next 24 to 48 hours. We've got those clouds streaming through now. What those will do is continue to move in intermittently. So a partly cloudy night tomorrow, a mostly sunny start to the day. Uh, but the winds will be the big thing that a lot of people notice tomorrow on Monday. Tell you what, I've noticed the wind here today at my house. It's been pretty breezy. It's hits up against the windows, and then you hear that wind uh, kind of move the windows just a little bit. That'll continue through the overnight hours, so don't be surprised if you hear some wind while you're trying to sleep. 9 a.m. Monday morning, still some wind around, even higher gust in the North Carolina high country where we could see some gusts of 40, 45. Now, Monday evening, winds will shift to a more westerly direction. That'll help calm it down through much of the region, but with the winds coming across the mountains and then moving into the higher terrain of North Carolina there in the Boone and Jefferson and also into parts of Smith County. We will continue to see some gusty winds there all the way into Tuesday morning before things taper off by around midday Tuesday. Tuesday also going to feature some rain chances across the area. Future tracks showing mostly sunny skies tomorrow morning, but as we go into the afternoon, those clouds start to increase, and then watch what happens here as we go later on into the overnight and into Tuesday morning. Rain showers pushing in from the south and west, and that'll let us have a pretty rainy day on and off through the day on Tuesday with scattered showers around and a chance, maybe a little bit of a chance as we go later on into Tuesday night and Wednesday of a bit of snow across parts the area. Yeah, I know it's been warm, it's been hot, but we are still in that time of the year where it's not unheard of to get a little snow. Now, don't get too excited in the valleys. I'm talking about highest elevations, mainly 4,500 feet and up. So that means our uh, places like Clinch Mountain, White Top, High Knob, the Smokies, those will be where we see the best chances, maybe a little bit into the uh, areas near Rome Mountain as well on Wednesday morning. Not an April Fool's joke, uh, though a lot of people are probably wishing it was. Now, cooler temperatures will be moving across the entire region as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs only in the 50s there, thanks to those rain showers that we have around. About a 60% chance for those on and off showers on Tuesday and then Wednesday. A couple lingering showers in the morning, but otherwise I think we're doing pretty good as we go into the afternoon. A little bit of a chance that we see some drizzle linger into Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. That would be the main concern to kind of keep a little bit of that moisture around. Now, Thursday morning with the skies clearing out, something to look at there is the morning temperature. All right, 38 degrees. Could see it get a little bit cooler in some spots uh, and wouldn't be shocking to me to see a little bit of patchy frost form there. So keep that in mind for Thursday. Next rain chance after that moves into the areas we go into Saturday and Sunday with highs climbing back up to around 68 to 69 degrees, looking milder as we round out the work week and head into the weekend. Next week, also looking like we'll see some warm temperatures as we look at the 8 to 10 day outlook uh, into the time frame after this. Well,